New Orleans is consistently rated as one of the very best food cities in America. People here know how to eat. Today I'll be spending time with a local chef and master of the culinary arts. Jared. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Great. This is my partner, Chris. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Good. So this is your restaurant, Eat, right here in the French Quarter. Yeah, we've been open since 2006, and we serve casual Cajun food. And you have a man that cooks. I mean, what is it like being in a relationship with a chef? Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, I mean, I like to eat, and he definitely keeps me fed, and I get to try all the new recipes. I'm his guinea pig. And what's your favorite thing that he cooks? Uh, if I had a choice, his dirty rice is pretty amazing. Man, I love the dirty rice. Now, people obviously come to New Orleans to eat, to party, to get crazy on Bourbon Street. So what is it like being a couple here in New Orleans? What kinds of things do y'all like to do? We like to bike around the city, the Lafitte Greenway. We watch movies at the Broad Theater. It must be so great to live and work right here in the French Quarter around all these beautiful buildings. Before I was in the restaurant business, I was in architecture for seven years. Do you have some favorites? Yes. Would you like to take a walk to go and see some? Oh, that'd be great. All right, I'm heading back to the office. All right, Chris, Good nice to, to meet you. you. All right, Bye. see you later. Cypress posts in between the bricks. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is a pretty cool slave quarter. Three stories, and it's only one room deep. Well, Jared, thank you so much for showing me around your French Quarter neighborhood. It's, it's beautiful. I see why you love living here. Anytime. You know what? Later, I'm doing a cooking demonstration. Would you like to come? Well, Jared, I'm really not much of a chef, but Varla is. Jared. Yeah, hey, Barla. How are you doing? Great. You really dressed the part. Oh, this whole thing. <laughs> Had it in my trunk. <laughs> are you ready to help me make some gumbo? Make? I'm really better at supervising or eating. I am great at eating. So. Well, I think you can help me chop some onions. Oh, of course. I, that's the vegetable. Yes. Oh, but not that vegetable. These are the onions. Oh, that, oh, ooh, kidding. kidding. With the knife and stuff? Sure. Just let me know when you have that done. Gumbo is a New Orleans tradition. My family's been making it for generations. Jesus! Do you, do you know if they have a Band-Aid in it? Marla, great job chopping all these vegetables. Thank you. I hope it wasn't too painful. I'll be all right, honey. We have the Holy Trinity here. We have onion, bell pepper, and celery. And I added some green onions and parsley to this. Oh, and there's my nail. I'm sorry. Oh, you might want to get that. I'm looking for that. And we're going to add this to the most important ingredient of any gumbo, the roux. Roux? Can't get away from her. Sizzle. When do we put the meat in? I was just getting to that. Ooh. I've already cut some up. <clears throat> Ooh, look at all this meat. You think it's all gonna fit? I think so. <laughs> look, I'm helping. <laughs> right, one piece at a time. You can pour it all in. Okay. Now it's time to add the spices. I add salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, Cayenne, filet, and ground bay leaves. Oh. Every chef adds their own spices. Oh, then how about some pink glitter for presentation? Well, I guess no two gumbos are the same. <laughs> well, mine's the prettiest. The last step is we add the stock, and then we'll let this simmer for a few hours. A few hours? Well, just wake me when it's ready. <clears throat> Delicious. Mm, Jared, thank you so much. I had so much fun. I had a great time, too. I'm Varla Jean Mervin. And one time in New Orleans... I whipped up a gumbo with a queen. And I learned I really shouldn't handle sharp objects. Oh. <laughs>